It's time to go green with Green Leaf Kratom. Shop at GLKUSA.com for a user-friendly experience and the highest quality Kratom products on the market. We source only the finest quality, naturally grown Kratom directly from Indonesia so you know you're getting the best of the best. Our strain guide is the perfect resource to find which strain works best for your body. Incredible savings, secure online shopping, and same-day shipping are just some of the great benefits you can expect when choosing Green Leaf Kratom. Get started today and discover why we're changing how people shop for Kratom. For a limited time, Green Leaf Kratom is giving away a third bottle free for every two bottles of capsules, powders, or flavored shots. Be sure not to miss out. It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Tuesday, the 6th of June. I'm Michael Groff. A few clouds around this morning, but temperatures will generally be trending down over the next few days with afternoon highs just a little bit below seasonal averages. Now, that still means we're on the toasty side, but hey, it could be a lot worse here in the month of June. How long will these below average temperatures last? Do we have any prospect of precipitation anytime soon? Of course, we're going to talk about all that and a whole lot more as we dive in and discuss. First, we'll check that almanac from yesterday. The hottest day of the year so far, 107 degrees was the afternoon high after a morning low of 78. Average temperatures now sitting at 102 and 75, 113, that record high from 2016. All right, here's the upper air weather pattern, and it looks very familiar, doesn't it? It's a blocking pattern. We've got a couple of areas of low pressure. One moving into California, another one over the northeast. In betwixt and between, there's that ridge over the northern plains and up into central Canada. And I showed you this yesterday. This is pretty much your classic blocking pattern in the summertime when these set up. It takes a while for them to break down. Now, it will eventually. And those areas of low pressure sort of weaken as they traverse the southern tier of the United States. But that's been the way it is. And that ridge over the northern plains has kept temperatures well above average there. All right, the watch warning map. Not a lot of high-impact events ongoing right now. It's really been just more of the same. Of course, we still have that little flood watch in northwest Mississippi for the potential of a dam break or a dam breach, uh, and that's until the 10th of June, so keep that in mind. Around here, we're pretty quiet, but check it out. The convective outlook for today, a few pockets of these marginal risks for severe storms. There's parts of the Carolinas, South Florida, uh, New Mexico, West Texas, and up in parts of Nevada, Utah, and Idaho. Places like Jackpot, Nevada, Salt Lake City, and Boise, Idaho, the Treasure Valley. Could see some gusty winds, some small hail, and uh, certainly uh, that is also true for those other marginal risk zones. Of course, it's quiet here, but there might be a thunder shower someplace up in the Four Corners region today. All right, here's a look at precipitation. This is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, nothing statewide, basically nothing. As it's June, it's the heart of the dry season. Doesn't rain much, and that's going to be how it is for a while. We'll take a look at this weather pattern in more detail. To do that, we'll check out the models, see what's going on. Here's the GFS. It's the 06Z run. This is valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. And it's more of the same. Big trough over the east to the northeast. And we've got this uh, short wave coming into the southwest, the ridge in between, although you note uh, there is an area of low pressure. It's beginning to squeeze that ridge, and that's eventually going to start to break down this blocking pattern. It's going to take a little while, but it will happen. What it means for us down at the surface today, sunny to mostly sunny sky. There might be some high clouds at times and high temperatures this afternoon. Uh, somewhere between about 96 to 100. We should be a bit cooler than yesterday. We might sneak over the century mark in a couple of spots, but that's about it. Breezy at times, too. Tonight, clear sky, a little bit cooler. Overnight lows, we might see the upper 50s in the coolest desert spots, but for the most part here in the city, 60s to near 70. And then tomorrow, Again, a few clouds, otherwise mostly sunny, and high temperatures back off a little bit further, somewhere between about 93 to 97. And we're going to see this for the rest of the week, these little short waves coming through, occasional high clouds. In fact, we might even start to call it partly sunny by the time we get to Thursday and certainly Friday, and high temperatures trend down uh, into the mid-90s or so. We might see a small fluctuation for this weekend with highs bumping up to the upper 90s to near 100. Again, partly sunny sky Sunday. Uh, a little bit more sun, high temperatures somewhere in the mid to upper 90s, and same thing on Monday. 
mid to perhaps upper 90s. The sky remains, I'd say, mostly sunny to partly cloudy at times, but the air mass is dry. Any rain chances confined to the north of us. Uh, we might see them get as close as parts of maybe Esmeralda, Nye, Lincoln counties in Nevada, and maybe brushing the northern border of our state, but that's going to be about it. Most of the rain chances stay to the north of us with more active weather up that way, above average precipitation chances there. All right, here's a week from today. This is Tuesday, the 13th, and our blocking pattern's kind of breaking down now. We've got another trough over the northeast, and there is an area of low pressure to the west of us now. You know, kind of how this all plays out, the exact positioning of these features is still a little bit up in the air. If it shows as advertised here, temperatures may still hold a little bit below average, but you note there is a flat ridge building across Mexico, so the heat isn't too far away, and I don't think we're going to be overly uh, below average, but temperatures probably hovering somewhere between about 97 to 102, if this is correct. And then going out 10 days, this is Thursday the 15th, and we're starting to see flat ridging to the south of us trying to build in. Whether or not it does remains to be seen. More of a vortex there over central Canada now instead of a big ridge. So ultimately, I think that our weather pattern, I don't foresee a major heat wave, but temperatures could start to return closer to seasonal averages. As we check out rainfall for Phoenix, this goes out through the 20th of June. Uh, pretty close to that summer solstice, and you can pretty much forget it. No meaningful chances of precipitation in here, as one would expect. And temperatures off the national blend of models. We're going to keep it just a little bit below average for most of the period. Way out there toward about 10 days, though, readings might start to move up closer to normal for this time of year. And so that's going to mean high temperatures, you know, 102, 103, 105, somewhere in that range. Overnight lows generally in the 60s and 70s. And that is going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is due back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, then be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell. Leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com. She is my Michelle. Also want to shout out to my brother. Yes, Garen Groff. He is, well, he has a birthday today. I won't say exactly how old he is, but he is my older brother. And so happy birthday to you, Garen. Thank you so much for watching. All of your continued support, everybody. I really do appreciate it. We could not do these videos without you. Please be safe, stay cool, stay hydrated, and have yourselves a terrific Tuesday.